everything else establishment. There are some good functions of an organization that's meant to keep people safe, except they've gone beyond that in a rogue-like element where these corrupt bureaucratic maniacs have taken over and are targeting now small farms, small organic manufacturers, giving them the same regulations as they would Merck, mm -hmm. you know, multi-billion dollar company. Here's a company that makes $20,000 a year making small tinctures or something like that. And they give them the same infrastructure requirements as Merck yes. or, or Pfizer or something. But then at the same time, you look, and it would be one thing if we just had this, this medicine. Okay, you know, sometimes it's killing, you know, 20% of the patients. You know, sometimes these vaccines are causing cancer or whatever. Okay, but how about the fact that, you know, in some studies, turmeric is killing 80% of the cancer cells or ginger. Or, you know, just adding lemon to water is amazing. Or, hey, how about drinking purified water is <laughs> curing things? It's like yeah. the FDA is literally ignoring all of the real stuff in many of these cases while targeting the real stuff at the same time as Pfizer and Merck and everything just make billions of these death pills. And you can look over and over again. I mean, look, years and years ago, we were telling the FDA, the judge was telling the FDA, remove superbug breeding antibiotics from the animal feed. Yeah, It's going to kill us. Yes. It's going to cause superbugs. 80% right. of the antibiotics are in livestock. Mm -hmm. Remove superbug, look at this title, remove superbug breeding antibiotics from the animal feed. That was from 2012. And but it, the people who do it, they try to shut them down. No, exactly. Because they're organic or they're, they're free-range chickens or they've got hogs that they let just graze and, and their immunity to disease is naturally increased because they get out of this little tiny box inside of a factory. They get sunlight. They get to walk on the grass. They get to eat natural food. No, no, it can't have that. Exactly. And it's not, it's not even about animal rights, which is a great thing in, its own, oh, yeah. in some right. ways, in, mm -hmm. in many ways. But it's about the fact that, hey... If we don't stop breeding superbugs, it will kill us. Yeah, you know it's it's yes. not a, it's not a nice little happy thing like oh we want to care for the animals that's great and everything right. too. You don't want to eat like, sick animals. Well, hey, yeah. no, actually, yeah, they've been caught selling animals with cancer now. Mm. In China, they pump sewage into the meat. Yes, I mean this is totally out of control, and obviously China isn't FDA regulated. But the point is, um, what's going on is the FDA is ignoring all this stuff, ignoring the fact that here we have. In a medical news today, which is super mainline, super mainstream, garlic kills hospital superbug MRSA. That's pretty mm -hmm. plain and simple, huh? <laughs> That's pretty amazing. An ingredient in garlic may offer one of the best defenses against hospital superbugs, research shows. The compound is said to be effective even against highly resistant strains of the notorious MRSA bug, which has claimed many lives. And it has, wow. because they try to use these antibiotics, or these, these garbage antibiotics, over and over again on these superbugs. And then they complain, and Obama has to issue executive orders to create more antibiotics, stronger antibiotics. Gee, you know, which contractors are going to make billions on that? See, the problem with using garlic, though, Anthony, there's a big problem with using garlic, and that is it's not it, can't be pat it can't be patented by some big pharmaceutical company. It's got to go. Exactly. It, it can't well, be effective. David, David uh, don't worry. <laughs> pharmaceutical companies are already taking the sulfuric uh, compounds from garlic and trying to patent them into a pill. There you go. To make money off it when the next plague comes and we all need garlic. <laughs> but the simple reality is that, yeah, eating garlic, well, here's, here's why this is so warped. Eating garlic is great. It will help you. If we actually took our science, though, that we were putting and pouring billions into these antibiotics, pouring billions into this cancer research that's never going to tell us anything, pouring all these billions of dollars, if we're going to take one one hundredth of that and put it into research on how to take this garlic extract in a perfect way, in a perfect capsule, in a perfect organic wholesome form. We could literally be wiping out superbugs like MRSA, be wiping out all of it and not have to take antibiotics, which just deplete our gut flora. Then gut flora has been linked with the, the depletion of gut flora has been linked with mental illness like schizophrenia and depression. And then that causes even more insanity. The whole body is being systematically destroyed when you look at something like a pharmaceutical drug coming in. And that's why more pharmaceutical drugs are given to address the side effects. If we were actually going to put a little bit of cash into the garlic to replace some of these antibiotics, we would have better gut flora. We wouldn't have as much mental illness. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't have as many killings and murders and, and violent crime. Mm -hmm. It would be a complete domino effect in the good sense if we just were to put a little bit of money into garlic. That's just one thing. You have turmeric, you have iodine. They introduced iodine into the salt and they saw a 10 point IQ increase over a shorter period of time. I mean, all of this is happening. The hormonal attack on our bodies, the estrogen, estrogen mimickers, BPA, attacking us on a daily, daily, daily basis. If we were just gonna take that out of the water, out of, out of the uh, water bottles, the plastic, 
which they knowingly put in. They chose yes. one, only one with BPA. They knowingly put that in. We would see a world of difference. But guess what? The FDA decided not to ban BPA. Yeah. The, and then the yeah. next day, all the shareholders rejoiced and made billions upon billions <laughs> over and over and over again because it would mean that they'd have to use different plastics. Same story over and over again. And Why even when you, you talk about monitoring us, because we're talking about this, and if some insider came out and talked about it, it would be game over. And that's, that's what right. we need is a call to arms, really. That's right. They want to know where people are getting their information. So they can get, so they can either crack down on that source of information or get some other agency like the FCC, which is metastasizing way out of its original function. I mean, you talk about the FDA and you say, it rightfully point out that there are some needs that we need to have government inspectors on the quality of food. I mean, we can have dirty food enter the food supply from corporate farmers. We can have it enter from small farmers. And we've had that happen in the past, but they metastasize way, way, way far beyond that. I'm with Anthony Gucciardi. We're talking about the FDA. We're talking about your life, actually, the food that you eat, the drugs that you take, or what you do to help yourself. We're going to be right back with more information, so stay tuned. Virtually anyone can hack your cell phone and track your calls, your texts, your emails, your every movement, but only if they can detect a signal. Stay one step ahead of hackers and Big Brother with a Block It Pocket, a custom-made pocket infused with pure silver that creates a complete Faraday enclosure for your cell phone. For free shipping to the lower 48, visit BlockItPocket.com or call 888-315-9618, BlockItPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. You've been hearing about the amazing benefits of heart and body extract for many years. Now, hear from the co-founder. My name is Tony Knudsen, and I am the co-founder of Heart and Body Extract. We've been in business for over 13 years now. With thousands of satisfied customers who have experienced the amazing benefits but never experienced a price hike. We've kept consistent pricing the whole entire time. The company's been in business and will continue to do so. Call today for Heart and Body Extract, 866-295-5305, or visit hbextract.com. A 30-day GMO-free emergency food supply for only $99 at 30dayfoodsupply.com. You can purchase Oregon Trail Foods' one-month supply of high-quality, nutritious, and healthy emergency meals. For less than $100, these vegetarian meals are naturally high in fiber, carbs, and protein, and they're packed with oxygen absorbers in Mylar pouches. They're completely free of any artificial flavors and colorings, have a 20-year shelf life, and take up to 70% less space than number 10 cans. They even offer a gluten free option. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com. Keep prices low by buying directly from the producers in Oregon and then passing the savings to you. Purchase a 30-day 90-serving emergency food supply for only $99 this month and $10 ships your entire order. Visit the website at 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where they make preparedness affordable. 30dayfoodsupply.com. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex, and I have with me in the studio Anthony Gucciardi. And we've been talking about the latest revelation about the FDA wanting to monitor social media chatter about product risks. Now, this is just amazing. They put out an RFP. They want 
someone that they're going to hire to keep track of things like the most cited news stories, the major themes of, dis of discussion, sentiment analysis, word clouds, message maps, and samples of verbatim consumer comments. So they want to know what you think about what the FDA is doing so they can then more effectively propagandize you using PSYOPs and the information war. When I talked to William Benny, he said he was very concerned about the police state that we have entered. And he said, we're not we're no longer close to a police state. We are in a police state. For years, he monitored East Germany and the Soviet Union. And he knows exactly how this comes down. And now we see it happening even with the FDA. Once they know where you're getting your news, they send in the trolls or they shut down that source using the power grab from the FCC. The FCC is now asserting that they are going to be able to shut down websites based on copyright assertions. Uh, couldn't get that passed in Congress with CISPA, SOPA, or ACTA. They tried twice with CISPA. Couldn't get it passed. So let's just have a year of action and allow Obama and his bureaucracies to do that. Well, the ultimate dream of all these organizations, whether it's a corrupt corporation or a taken over establishment rogue organization within the government, is not to just track everything you're doing, but to shut down the opposition because yes. they've already lost. Yes. In the beginning, that wasn't the goal. The goal was to ignore it or refute it in some ways. And that's why they, you know, try to have key icons, you know, like Alex and others on the news to try and make him look dumb. But ultimately that ends up, of course, being a major victory. Mm -hmm. And more people tune in and more people realize what's going on. They're not just creepy voyeurs. They're not just going to sit there. They're not just watching us just for the fun of watching us. They really do have no, an agenda, and we're seeing that come out now with the FDA, the FCC, other organizations. They're planning the blitzkrieg. Yes. It's just a matter if we can have a scout go out on the hill with an old-fashioned telescope and tell us what's coming, and then we can prepare ourselves. Because they do want to, through things like CISPA on steroids, which is what's coming, shut down websites that in, they would call it endanger consumer health. So for example, if I were to go ahead and publish, as I have multiple times, the fact that garlic is the answer to many superbugs, and that we should put real money into that instead of these antibiotics that are killing people, then that would be threatening consumer health. Mm -hmm. You know, because the FDA hasn't approved garlic. <laughs> the FDA hasn't approved that. The EU says water doesn't hydrate people. It's not even been proven. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. that's quackery. That's right. So it would be endangering consumer health, and that's how they're going to do it. And they're going to issue something and say, please take this down. The FDA has decided this is against consumer health. Just like selling real organic products, as we do with Super Male Vitality on InfoWarsLife.com. And I plug it because I believe in it, mm -hmm. and everyone should get a hold of it. This is resisting and funding everything that we're talking about. Because we're going to be the ones pioneering all this. We're going to be the ones pioneering all of these solutions over and over and over again. So you should go to InfoWarsLife.com and secure these organic products. Absolutely. You know, that just as we said, they're not just doing this just for the information. They're actually going to take action. No, you not. have to take action. You have to take responsibility for your life. You have to be self-reliant about not only inform yourself about what the real risks are to you, from these pharmaceutical drugs, but also understand what the, or, or these genetically modified foods, but also understand what the real advantages are. And then it's up to you to do something about it. Well, you might not even get a chance to know if they manage to shut all this down. And just getting into GMO, Monsanto has so much pull, they can shut everything down. They've falsified FDA quotes in California to defeat GMO labeling bills. It's total insanity. We have to fight for our right to actually be able to speak. Because Hang on. we'll use this trick. We're coming up to a break, but I want you to stay here. We're going to talk about this one more segment, Anthony. And then in the next hour, we're going to be talking to Kathleen Willey. You know, they want to know where you're getting your source of information. They want to be able to attack people. We've seen this happen over and over again. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula 
Russia using six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support.